Well, I came to it as an outgrowth of an earlier project I'd been working on, which was a chapter on the Great War in Canadian literature for the Cambridge History of Canadian Literature. And for that chapter, I covered literature written from 1914 right up to the present, including children's literature. And as I looked at the modern Canadian children's literature about the war, of which there's a surprisingly large amount, uh, I felt uneasy about it. I didn't think it represented the war and children's attitudes towards it as people of the time had really experienced. But what did I know? I had to go back and find out. So I began looking at what had been written for children during the war, including school materials and books and magazine stories, that kind of thing, and discovered that, in fact, it was very different from our modern picture of the war. Of course, now we look back on the war and think it was pointless, bloody slaughter. But at the time, people didn't think that, and children were not allowed to think that. They were encouraged to think of it as an ennobling opportunity for service and sacrifice, which is a very different picture. I think children did know, maybe not as much as we know now, of course, but I think they did have a sense of uh, how terrible it was. At first I thought, no, that they would have been shielded from um, the worst of what was happening, because of course in all sorts of aspects of life, children were much more protected. But I think they did. Every community newspaper published casualty lists, uh, so they would have known that men were dying. Uh, they often printed letters from home. You know, if someone in the community received a letter from a son or a father, it would be forwarded to the community newspaper, so children would have read that. There were some films, uh, newsreels. I think children did know something about it. Often, of course, too, as the war went on, uh, returned soldiers who were mutilated, blinded, whatever, they were there in communities. I really was surprised by the earnestness of the children, of their teachers, their Sunday school teachers, their parents. Um, they really cared about the service and sacrifice that they were performing on the home front. I, I really don't think there was any cynicism about it. Um, and of course it was all tied up with patriotism and ideas of a kind of Christian sacrifice. I mean that was how the soldiers were idealized. They were dying in the way that Christ had died as a sacrifice. And now it seems incredible to us that people would believe it. But I think to some degree they did. I don't think dissolution set in for a good decade or so. Uh, so I, I, that surprised me that they were so earnest and sincere in their dedication to the war effort. Okay.